हेलो एवरीवन डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी शेल गो विद अ डिटेल्ड समरी और एन एनालिसिस ऑफ द स्टोरी ऑफ अ डोल्स हाउस रिटन बाय हेनरिक इप्सिन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन द लिटिल इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट द ड्रामेटिस्ट हेनरिक इप्सिन एज वेल एज वी ऑल्सो ट्राई टू नो द synopsis of the story of a doll's house and we got the idea what about the play is now we shall move to the detailed summary act wise so that you will have the better idea of the a doll's house of the story of the toll souls so we shall begin with act 1 although we shall not be able to complete the whole summary of act 1 in a single lecture we will at least require three or four lectures in order to complete the summary or the story of act 1 but let's begin uh, how the play starts the play starts or opens in a city of norway in the apartment of a barrister and who is barrister here torvald helmer is the barrister who lives there in this apartment with his wife whose name is nora and his three children whose name are Ivor Bob and Amy these are the names of their children it means the five people are living in this apartment and this apartment is fully furnished decorated all the floors are carpeted and there are sufficient rooms comfortable rooms and they have been again decorated tastefully so this is how the scene takes place scene takes place in the in a city of norway now the time time is of the christmas eve and first of all we meet nora Nora is wife of Torvald Hammer. Nora had gone out for some Christmas purchasings, Christmas shopping, and now she is returning, or she has returned to the house with a porter carrying a Christmas tree and with a basket full of other things. So she had gone to the market and bought. a christmas tree and other essential things for the household the porter asks sixpence for the labor and then nora gives him a shilling and also tells him to keep the change that is not to return anything then she laughs herself and then try to eat macaroons she takes out macaroons from the bags from the uh, other uh, uh, i mean uh, the basket that was full of other things so she she um, take out the macaroons and then she begins to eat them now then we are introduced with her husband whose name is torvald helmer he is sitting in his study in his study room and he calls out her why he calls out her because he listens the footsteps entering someone into the house so he calls out to her whether whether it is his little lark twittering 
so he calls nora a little large tree tree then again he calls out her ki little squirrel bustling about so these are the expressions which are spoken by uh, helmer as a terms of endearment that is in the term of love these are the love expressions that is trying to show the short names abbreviated names that we speak in love just like we speak uh, monu sonu tinku etc nora also replies yes to his question so when he asks whether she is there whether his little squirrel is twittering there then she says yes yes she is the little skylark then he calls out her husband to come and see what she had brought then helmer doesn't come but he opens the door of his study and looks into the room where nora was standing and and noticing every parcel so helmer from his study looks at nora as well as he also noticed every parcel that she bought from the market then he ask her if she is again bought all those things and like a spent trip she has been wasting money again so he speaks that again she is a spent trip kharchili and she has bought so many things she has just wasted the money so again she is wasting the money so see how the husband helmer he speaks and changes the tone earlier he speaks in love calling her little squirrel but now he speaks that you have spent the money unnecessarily and that you are uh, like a spent thrift again then nora says okay yes she is she has really spent some money but that is because it is first christmas when they have no need to economize so because it is their first christmas in this apartment so they need not to become economical and therefore she has spent some more money this this year she also reminds him that he is going to take up a job with a big salary and therefore they can afford to be a little reckless in spending money she also reminds him that now he is going to become a big boss and then he will get a big salary in the new office so why to worry about the money wasting or money spending so they can spend much more money then helmer tells her ki it's okay he admits that it's okay that i am going to become a become an officer and will get big salary but not now that i will get after 3 or 4 months in the new year so till then we should not spend much more and on being said this way by helmer nora says that okay then till the big salary becomes due to him they will or they can borrow money and enjoy the life so see their attitude towards the life nora's attitude towards the life is the bigger opener that is she wants to uh, enjoy the life whereas uh, helmer doesn't he thinks about the money but helmer now doesn't approve nora's this idea idea of spending much money so he asks her how she would meet her liability in case he were to die unexpectedly so he he, he speaks to him and asks her ki what she will do and how she will manage herself if accidentally or by chance he dies unexpectedly then how she will maintain the family or the uh, the the uh, the whole uh, people then nora replies ki by chance accidents takes his uh, life and he is killed then 
मैन सी वुड नॉट केयर एट ऑल वेदर शी ऑट मनी टू एनी बडी कि किससे उधार लिया इस बात की वो कोई परवाह नहीं करेगी अगर वो मरी जाता है और नहीं इस बात की परवाह करेगी और नॉर सी वुड बॉर्डर हु आर द पीपल फ्रॉम होम द मनी एट बिन बॉर्ड कि कौन से लोग हैं जिनसे उसने उधार लिया है अर्थात अगर ऐसा हो जाता है देन शी वुड नॉट बॉर्डर अबाउट द मनी एज वेल एज अबाउट द पीपुल होम शी हैड बॉर द मन देन हेलमर रिक्वेस्ट हर नॉट टू थिंक ऑफ बोरोइंग मनी एट ऑल बिकॉज ही बिलीव्स दैट नो डेट नो बोर बिकॉज ही सेज दैट देर कैन बी नो फ्रीडम और द ब्यूटी अबाउट ए होम लाइफ दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन बोरोइंग एंड डेट्स सो ही बिलीव दैट इफ यू बोरो द मनी एंड देन स्पेंड इफ यू हैव डेट इफ यू ऑज डेट इफ यू ऑज समन it means you are not happy in your house it means your house is not happy at all you have no freedom at all he believes but nora thinks another way she says that we should is we can spend money even taking uh, from others or borrowing from others so at at listening to uh, helmer nora becomes a little sad then helmer said says oh little squirrel should not get out of temper ki usko naraz nahi hona chahiye so in fact helmer is uh, trying to irritate his wife his attitude towards his wife is not good or well because we we have seen and now we will see that nora has not purchased anything for her but she has uh, bought Uh, something for children some for maid and some for helmer himself so she thinks about the family but helmer thinks only about the money so helmer calls a spend thrift helmer thinks that she is or nora is a spend thrift kharchili this is the idea that or this is the perception which helmer has in his mind for nor so now now the story uh, that the scene goes ahead in the same act that now helmer takes out his purse and then asks nora what is it what is there in his hand and nora answers it's money then he says that he knows very well that nora needs much more money for housekeeping at christmas time so he takes out some money from the purse and that he hands over to nora now she feels grateful she says she is very grateful that he is giving uh, money to her and she is grateful to her husband so much money in addition to the normal course so he is giving additional money therefore nora says that she is very grateful for him she also tells him about the present that she has bought for children and the maid so categorically she speaks she tells him that this thing this shirt this t-shirt this pant or this uh, uh, suit or the other thing that she has bought for her husband for her children and for mate for the mate so for everyone she has bought the things on this eve of christmas then helmer asks ki if she has purchased anything for herself or not she is no doubt an extra vegan person but what she has bought for herself she says that if he wants to give her something he should give her as much cash as he can so she says that she doesn't worry about herself but if helmer wants to give something to nora on this auspicious occasion then he then she request him that he should give her as much money or in cash as he can give 
so she demands the cash nora tells that if he wants to give her something he should give her as much cash as he can then she also says that if he gives her cash she will keep it on christmas tree wrapping in a beautiful paper so if helmer gives her cash then she will put it into a beautiful paper and wrap it in a beautiful paper cover karke and then she will put it on the christmas tree because the christmas tree is supposed to be the money tree then again helmer calls her spent thrift that she is a spent thrift nora says now yes she is a spent thrift but she still wants some money so that she may buy something in course of the next few days to kehti yes wo kharchi liye इसीलिए उसको कुछ और पैसा चाहिए ताकि वो आने वाले दिनों के अंदर खर्च कर सके एट दैट हेलमर से इज दैट शी शुड स्पेंड मनी फॉर हर सेल्फ राधर देन ऑन हाउस कीपिंग एंड अनसरी थिंग्स सो हेलमर से इज इट्स ओके बट शी शुड स्पेंड मनी ऑन हर सेल्फ ऑल्सो Rather, spending all the money on the housekeeping and unnecessary things, so he requests her that she should also buy something for herself, rather than spending the whole money for housekeeping and other unnecessary things. And therefore, again he calls her a sweet little spendthrift. she is a spent thrift but she, he he calls he calls her sweet also so that she may not get angry then nora says that he should not describe her such she always try to save as much as she can ki use aisa nahi kehna chahiye kyunki usne hamesha she has always try to save as much money as she can jitna bacha sakti hai utna bachane ki usne hamesha koshish kari then elmer says that she saves nothing to so, dono mein aapas mein baat bad rahi hai wo kehti hai ki i have always try to save as much money as i can but again elmer says that she has done nothing that is she saves nothing she is always spending the money unnecessarily she is a spend thrift extravagant etc then helmer laughs as he speaks these words he says that she is like her father who also was a spent thrift so he compares nora with his with her father that her father was also a spent thrift and he also uh, uh, used to spend money as she is spending he says that she never knows where money has gone and finds new way to get it so she she doesn't bother about the money and where it has gone and always finds new ways to get it so she must be a little uh, a little serious about this then he says that he must accept her as she is extra vagance is in her blood वो कहता है कि भाई जैसी है वैसे मैं मुझे स्वीकार करना चाहिए तुम्हें एक्स्ट्रा वेगेंस तुम्हारे ब्लड में है एंड यू हैव इनहेरिटेटेड दिस फ्रॉम योर फादर और तुम्हें ये जो है कि वंशानुगत मिला है तुम्हारे फादर भी जो है एक्स्ट्रा वेगेंट थे स्पेंड थ्रिप थे और तुम भी नोरा से यस सी वुड लाइक टू बी इनहेरिटेटेड मच फ्रॉम आर फादर जो चाहेगी कि और भी कुछ उसके फादर से जो है इनहेरिट कर सके उसकी आदतें उसके विचार उसके जो है कि मैनर्स वो जो है इनहेरिट करना चाहिए सो देन इन ऑर्डर टू मेंटेन द बैलेंस हेलमर कॉल्स हर अगेन इज स्वीट लिटिल स्काई लार एंड यू नॉट लाइक अर टू बी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम वॉट शी सो ही सेज दैट ही डजेंट वॉन्ट दैट शी शुड बी इन डिफरेंट Uh, from what she is in actually and therefore she is a sweet little skylark
for him so for today this is what we have in this story that is there is a conversation between nora and helmer there is nobody else present up to now and the scene is of their house their apartment and both are just uh, conversing on the money spending on the spending of the money as we have come to know nora is nora uh, has interest in spending money whereas helmer doesn't like this we also come to know that the helmer is going to get a new job with a big salary we also come to know that uh, that nora is spending money in order to keep the house and as well as to celebrate the christmas festival so thank you very much friends we will meet with the further story in the next time